Edgy, bro. I like it, I like it. It's color of fox, pretty decent color fox, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the the, the, the pink red fox anymore. I don't like it, dude. No. They, they, made red, they made red fox into like pinkish color. Yeah. I'm not a fan. But I do like that new uh, kind of, that darkish blue fox. I think the one that Charlie uses. Oh, that one's really good. That one, yeah. that one's nice. I just want to the green, the the black, the black jacket with like green outlines. I like that a lot too. True. It's got like a stealth look to it. All right, well it's gonna be uh, not breeze steady, jump steady. Yeah, rocking uh, the bikini suit, Samus, trying to show off the abs. Ooh, misses the grab, but uh, Sushi not gonna go in and punish that. Oh, classic. classic. Classic ZSS combo there. Air flip kick. Yeah, it's stolen this game. Can't get rid of it. I oh, feel like Jumpsteady waited patience. for the opportunity to actually get that to the way that he saw how Sushi was playing from the beginning. Of course, works for a great anti-air. Oh, gets oh, the paralyzer. Wow. He, he's in his head. Yeah, man. That was, that was a great read. Oh, no. Sushi having a difficult time. You're right, man. Jumpsteady really is in his head. And then it becomes frustrating. Dude. You're getting hit by everything. And it makes you question yourself, like, man, am I really playing this bad right now? Yeah, the way the jump that he plays, like, it really suits the way the Zero Suit's played right now. Yeah, she's still played really fast, but she's really more of, like, this hit and return back to neutral. And then continue the advantage if I get the right hit kind yeah. of thing. But that's the way the jump that he played back in Smash 4. He just also had the ladder combos and, like, all the, the rage yank that uh, Zero Suit had. Oh. Great parry. I would have loved to see a Smash attack, though. Oh. Because the devil man, he actually pulled one out for you, but unfortunately, Jim City was nowhere near it. Getting to that point of point of time when uh, foxes start fishing for the nares. Okay, gets the jab. Jim City, I like it. Comes back with the flip kick there, and Sushi would have been in a tough spot. And again, might have get hit by that. And this is where Jim City gets a lot of damage. He's realizing that his opponent really wants to kill against him, so he'll run away and he'll use all these moves that Zero can throw out that are safe, so he can get that hit, do it on shield, and then run away. And he'll get so much damage for that. He's almost lapped a uh, sushi in percent here. Hashtag sushi looking for another opportunity here, but he's not able to find it. Jumpsteady taking his time. He had a good idea. Oh no, missed the down smash. And I like the angle because if you angle your shield and it has benefits, it gets down smash into the upbeat. Jumpsteady oh. moving up with three stocks as a lead. Wow, he, he, he was gone. Alright, right now, uh, sushi just he got some there. A little slow on the read right there. That's a lot of problems that a uh, low level fox will have. Will know where to go, but they're they're gonna second guess themselves because of their just their instinct. They're like, oh, I can't believe that actually happened. Whereas like the top players, they'll see it and they'll immediately go for it. Yeah. All right. One thing we know about Jump City, what he's doing right now, is he has so much of a lead. He's not trying to definitely give, get rid of it. What he's doing is kind of just taking his time to poke around his opponent's shield, wait for an opening, then go for an option. And he honestly doesn't have to give up much of the neutral or much of the stage to do that. He's kind of just taking his time. So far though, at this opportunity, Sushi looking for the opportunity to take the stock, comes in with side B. You gotta be careful with that because it doesn't cross up shield anymore. One thing to note um, also as well is when you angle your shield, if you keep spamming up B while you angle your shield, while you angle your shield if your opponent hits you with like a, for example, three jabs, you get the up B out of shield immediately. That's why you see Jump City go for the anchor. shield. Oh, Jump City had the uh, had the idea there, just a little slow on there. This is this is looking rough for Sushi. He's not finding his way in that he needs. Right up tilts, but that's not killing yet. Sushi, he's really looking lost right here. He's not. He doesn't know how to hit yeah. Jump City right now. Having difficult times. Oh, oh nice and the, the reason why he was able to take more damage, even though he was a dead man, without that, he was charging down smash. And of course, he's still taking more knockback if you are charging smash to axe. Oh, he's out of shield. Not going to do it just yet. Chuck is going to do a second chance of life. All right, good direction on our dodge down. Uh, Sushi not realizing it. And the next time he uh, jumps, he starts charging these paralyzers. I really would like to see him. Just run up and shine it, because you could shine, jump out of it, and then you'll get a full punish. That's what I was going to say. We haven't really been seeing Sushi use shine a lot to punish Paralyzer. Yeah, I he's mean, just been running away and lasering. Yeah. Okay. Comes in with dash attack. No up tilt, but no follow up afterwards. Let's 
we've been punished. Yeah, run up grab. Oh, he gets kicked. Yep. It's the first time he did it that set, probably wasn't expecting it. Yeah, I mean, he didn't dare to flip kick, so he was going to take the first lock easily that way. This time, though, he'll finish the stock and the first game the same way as we saw in the beginning. Mm -hmm. oh, pretty pretty dominating two-stock right there. Really want to... Chocolate Sushi is making just a lot of guesses of, I don't know what he's going to do, but I want to throw this out right here and think it's going to work. Yeah. He... And that's a lot of problems I'll see with some people going against Zero Suit. They'll hit where she is and not realizing that whenever she's throwing that thing, she's usually either retreating or like going in. And a lot of the time it's retreating, so you have to you have to think a bit ahead. Like, okay, I want to hit where she's going to be. Yeah. The preemptive strike almost. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this the pink skin you're just... Yeah, um, uh, it's, it's supposed to be like the red color, but it's more pink. Yeah, that's a, that's, uh, a, that's a light strawberry. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That's a, yeah, exactly. I don't like it, dude. I'm not going to lie. I just, I'm not a big fan of it. It was such a cool color, and now they're just, hey man, let's give them pink. <laughs> going to a, going to Smashville, wanting a, wanting a smaller stage, which I could agree with. And with these platforms, you have a lot of pressure that Fox can do with his up airs and his back airs. Yeah. But at the same time, there's who can do that too. Yeah, static middle platform does change the game for both characters. Yeah, so he kind of holding back, gets the grab here. Well. Uh, immediately moves on to the edge phase, tries to catch uh, Chocolate Sushi with the forward air, no noticing the side B. Of course, one thing to know for Gem City is he does play a lot with Larry. Uh, they're kind of like training partners. So he's kind of used to the Fox matchup, if anything. Uh, not Probably not realizing that he got the uh, Paralyzer. Not going to go out too far for that. If you miss, you're pretty much... Zero suit misses, he's pretty much dead, so. Good throw, problem. not gonna kill. Yeah, up throw actually got buffed. It's a, it's a kill throw now. Oh, not gonna get the slide angle. Just gonna SD barely. So she having such a tough time against him steady. Wow, the, uh, another thing I'm noticing is when Sushi has uh, jump steady at the edge, he's not really trying to go for a super, I wanna be right next to you, uh, ledge guarding. He's going to roll distance and then trying to get a punish from there. And that just. It puts Jump Steady in like that position, great up smash, where he's like, I don't have to be worried about this, I can react to whatever he's going to do instead of putting him right there and putting the pressure on. Jabs in the corner. I like yeah. it, he just waited there, you look at the opportunity to do some kind of punish. That's such a game of chicken right there. Gets an air into up air. Uh, not gonna go for the uh, not gonna go for the up you right there. Fire. On a two frame with the uh, down. Oh. Wow, grabbed him out of there. That's fear, man. That's that fear into that sends fear into anybody's eyes. Like, Your man. illusions don't work on me. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Especially when you get grabbed that way. Yeah, that's a moment of God. You hold him there, and you're like, you're not doing that. Those tricks don't work on me. <laughs> this is to get to top 24. This is where the big dogs come in. We have to make the big plays, just like Jumpstar Man, just go for the grab, especially when you know your opponent's going to side beat back to stage. That's the one thing we haven't seen from Chocolate Sushi, right, is that we, can't, we haven't seen him go for the up beat recovery as much. It's always side beat, so Jump is so keen to actually catch that. Up B? No, just going to go for the uh, reset again. Oh, I'm missing his grab here, and Chocolate Sushi comes in with the opener. Edge guard face for him. I like it, comes back towards center stage here and tries a different angle. Chocolate Sushi, uh, he, he's looking like he's starting to understand what to do. He's kind of firing up a bit. Ooh. Ooh I don't know what that was. Oh, oh I... That was nice. He went for the extra deep oh, flip bro. kick. I didn't think he was going to hit that. Yeah. That was nice. That was not, yeah, Jumpstead, going to take that too well, bro. Look at yeah.